You see this sweet gold board around this Insta, guys? We're gonna use it. Gonna use that rare tier 5 heli. Gonna see how long we can survive with it. Solo. We gotta put our rare tier 5 Insta to good use, so... I think that's a pretty decent uh, challenge we can do out of it. So let's try it. How long can you last with your free tier 5 marine? It's gonna be harder than you think, because it's an ability, so... It's only going to be up like 60 to 70% of the time, so... Timing of the Marines going to be really useful here, or really important. So, let's go. Let's have some fun over on Logs. Easy. And Deflation Mode. Deflation Mode, we skip a 30 rounds at the start, which is pretty boring, so... We'll get rid of all that. Gonna ignore everything else on the screen, the lives, the money. This bar over here, we're just going to go straight over the Insta section. Pick the heli. Boom. Right at the top, drop this... 050 Insta like it's hot. How long will we survive with a Marine? Place your bets down below, and let's begin. I wonder if we need to use the Marine for the start. I mean... Right now what you got with the uh, Special Preparations without Marine... You got a Daring Draft with double blowback. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. So what the, uh, the blowback does, the Daring Draft... It creates a Regro Farm. Which is uh, not what you want, so we're going to have to drop the Marine right now, otherwise we're going to waste the Insta. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. That's kind of sad. It almost didn't beat the first round, that's crazy. Should we tech bot the Marine? Nah. I'm going to say no, but let me use it now. So let me just show you how long they last after the buff. So before the buff, this Marine would last about 60% uptime. But now, let's see how long it goes until it disappears. 75? Yeah, a little past 75, so not bad, like 76. 77%. So we're only got to worry about like, a quarter of the time where our Marine isn't up, but that's fine. Logs is a long-ass map. And also remember to use the, uh... Heli life-giving ability. I almost feel like tech potting just for the purpose of using this upgrade. Because the lives are pretty important here. I also just realized, because it's deflation, every crate gives us lives and not money. Which is actually better, because we don't need money on this challenge. It's only the Insta. Only the Marine. Oh, LEDs, LEDs. That's okay, Marine. Marine can pop any type of balloon, FYI. Camos, LEDs, you name it. That cash drop just gave us 8 money, or 8 lives. Hell yeah. Alright, new rule then. If we make it to a round that we can't beat without the normal uh, Marine, we're gonna add a village and Alchemist on top, just cause. For science. BG science, boys. Because why not? I mean, we gotta make the most of our Insta, we just can't stop when it dies. We need to get the full value, you gotta squeeze every penny out of it. Stupid damn draft, seriously. We're actually creating an infinite Rigo farm here, I just realized as well. Uh, Marine, Marine. We're gonna leak lives here. Close. Let's move this heckin' heli pilot over here, on the right side. Where this helipad is not bunking the way. So we now got the Marine over here, dropping in a... Pretty much perfect spot, look. It gets three uh, horizontal lengths of the track, and two verticals. I might just leave it here for the rest of the game. For this round only, use the Marine now in a awful spot. That's why folks, you don't move the Marine. Because then you get in shitty spots like this. Anyways, GG. Deflation mode complete, and now. Now we just wait until the Marine dies. The thing with the Marine, it literally one-shots the Super Serams or the Club Serams. Takes a quick half a second, and they're gone. And Marine is gone now, but it should be back by the time we get it up. Okay. 63 first try, easy. What if the Marine's as strong as Tr Comanche Chimps and no one's ever tried it? Oh, I've tried it. I tried the Chimps alright, although, albeit on the worst map possible, Moon Landing. Even then, it still did pretty decent. That was before the buff. That was before the buff where the Marine got even more duration or less cooldown. So it should be even better now with 75% uptime. So honestly, I'm pretty sure if Comanche plus Alchemist was not broken, people would pay attention to the Marine. But because it is still broken, people just use that, not the Marine. So about the Marine, I believe I did 250 on the first try with the Marine, but it does turn out that according to Rohan, head leader of Ninja Kiwi operations, 052 Marine is better than 250. Because Faster Fry actually affects the attack speed of the Marine. The more you know. So I messed up on the first try. Marine is actually better than you think. 
So we got a big Rigor Farm next round, don't we? I almost want to not use the Marine next round, just to see how bad it would get, and see if Kamech can deal, deal with it or the Marine. If the Marine can deal with it, the cleanup, if we let it regrow, but we won't. I'm gonna just easily take care of that real quick. So regrows this round, let me just drop that real quick. It turns rainbows into blue, so how many layers is that? Let me, let me count. So rainbows to pinks is three layers, six layers, okay. So the Marine does six layers per shot. Pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good. So hopefully when it goes off cooldown, we don't let it rego too much, but that is not pretty. Look, look at that, boys. How to create an infinite rego farm. Have a downdraft sitting right there. Sitting pretty. So false alarm this round is not that hard. The Marine ain't down long enough for it to uh, create a bad farm. So a little story to tell yesterday. Yesterday night I logged to Spotify. If you don't know, I normally use Spotify for stream music, as well as personal use. So I logged in yesterday, and for some reason, it was playing a foreign song on somebody else's device, because, like, I saw a different song on the bottom, the bottom bar, and it said it was playing on a Chrome browser, but I did not have any Spotify tabs open on Chrome. So I was like, wait a minute, is somebody on my account? And I'm pretty sure the answer to that was yes. Somebody hacked it to my account. Legit. It has Spotify Premium, so I assume they want to use it for the free music, or premium account, or whatever. Whatever you want out of a Spotify account, but... That's the first time I actually, clearly, got my account hacked into, so yeah. I got spooked. So I changed the password real quick, booted the guy out of the account, and... The rest was history. That should teach me not to use, uh... Easy passwords to guess. My password is now a 26 character... Mix of digits... Uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and symbols, all around. It looked like French music, but, like, what gave it away that someone was listening on, like, another device was I changed the song to something else, but they, they changed it quickly back to their old thing, so I was like, what the hell? They're actually on my account right now at this very moment, and they know the owner. They know the owner is, is back on it, because they're changing the song, and this guy's changing the song from, like, halfway across the world. We're fighting for what's playing on their, on the account. I think it's just that because Spotify has no two-factor authentication, and the fact that my password is really easy to guess, it was like Hunter 2, made it really easy for anybody to get in, so... I guess, yeah. The more you know, don't use the same password on multiple sites, don't use Hunter 2 as your password, don't use Gwendolyn as only 15 as your password, because that's obviously not true. But I am very, very surprised, even though I've already made a video on this before, and I saw how good it is, but... It might be even better than I thought. So here's where we get tactical. We don't just drop the Marine on the back here. Go to mix and match. Move the heli whenever we want to drop the Marine somewhere we want it. You know one thing that Super Surrounds is good for? Super Surrounds are always worse than normal Surrounds in like 99% of situations, but the 1% is for Downdraft. Because Downdraft has less moons to pull back if Super Surrounds are Super Surrounds and not normal Surrounds. It just means there's less balloons on the track to uh, blow back. So that means it almost always chooses the Super Surrounds to blow back. So you know what? I'm sorry, Downdraft. We might actually use you, or find a use for you. Marine is gone now, so we gotta rely on the blowback. Look at the Downdraft, man. It's actually useful. Giving us time to uh, take it down, these rams. And enough time to drop Marine again, okay. Saved. Saved by the Downdraft. So I apologize now, Draft. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. That's just how Mafia works. It's better if you shoot down a straight line, kind of like Crossbow Master. But right now, hold on, we're gonna need to use this. Follow Mouse. Blow back, down Draft. Oh boy, things get tight here, don't they? Not as easy as it looks, does it? Not as easy as it seems. So they're all fortified now, Fortify Moabs. Well, it's gonna be a painful wait. While it's on cooldown, isn't it? Let's lock in place down here. Yeah, down here. For the Marine. We will drop it now. I said now. Follow Mouse. Okay, one more round to DTs. That's all we gotta wait for. You know what? Now that I think about it, what round did How Long Can You Survive with One Heli Pilot get to? Because technically speaking, this is One Heli Pilot as well. Did it hit the 90s? Because I swear to God. It did not. Unless I'm like, tripping. Am I tripping balls? 
Best fifth year in the game, maybe. Better than Comanche? If we're talking about without Alchemist, maybe. Let's slow on the hot takes, though. Let's slow on the hot takes. Because this is longs, after all. Yeah, let's just infinite loop this. Look at that OP down draft. Alright. Fun's over. Let's drop that real quick. And 90 should be pretty easy. DDTs? The Marine's in a shitty spot. I mean, might need to restart. Or do I? Yeah, I'm restarting. That was a shitty spot. I can't restart? Oh! Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I used the Marine before the round ended. Shit. I didn't mean to. Because I know 100% I can beat this round with a Marine. Sorry. I had to. And now we can wait for the Marine cooldown, okay? I'm so sorry, but... I know it could be 90, I just messed up. What we should be doing is this. We should be locking our heli in place, like over here, so that we drop the marine in a good spot. What I did was very reckless. What I did was I was moving my heli while dropping the marine, so yeah. Anyways, you can tell right now we're struggling versus fortified ceramics. Real quick, uh, let's follow mouse here for the ceramics at the very end. Because that is not looking pretty. I would like to blow these back, thank you. There we go. Dynamic duo, boys. If balloons get past the Marine's radius, just drop a real quick, real quick jam draft. Blow it back in place. Give enough time for the Marine to come back. And okay, 92 now. Legitimately 92, FYI. Is this round death? Guys? Town draft is not going to work versus Moabs. So lock in place, right? Lock in place. Marine? I'm pretty sure this is it. Hold on, hold on. Follow mouse. Yeah, okay. I don't think we need to restart to even see that. The Marine cannot deal with this round, not whatsoever. Holy crap. That's a lot of fortified forward five more abs. This ain't doable, is it? Is it time to buff for the Alchemist? I think so. So lock in place down here for the Marine. If this does not work, then it's over. 100%. Follow mouse. Strong is not going to work because it's going to target the ZMGs. So we got to keep on the first. There's no other way. If only there was a targeting that could say, oh, only target Moabs, and that's it. But no. That does not that does not exist, sadly. You know what? We actually might beat this round. Hold on. There are so little mobs left. Come on. Oh, man. Uh, JK. JK. I lied. We can actually beat the Moabs, holy crap. Now there's just a bunch of ZOMGs that we gotta deal with. On to 93, I think so. Move it away. Hell yeah, 93. We beat it, 92. I was wrong. We don't need to use Alchemist. At least not yet. We're still alive for one more round here. So let me drop the Marine real soon for these DDTs. Gonna need it. Follow Mouse. Yeah, it should be enough for this round, right? Yes, sirree. I can blow back. Yes, it is. Okay. This might be a problem, yeah. Might be more of a problem than Fortified Moabs on 92. You're right. Because the Marine's going to be gone now. With a lot of Fortified to deal with. Don't worry. Let me just infinitely blow back. No worries. Actually, some worries are getting really far. Marine now. Back to Follow Mouse. Use the Heli ability. Not that it matters. We're a thousand lives above 420. Not bad. Um, There's one Moab going really far here. Just need a little bit of pump out here. Come on. Just a wee bit. First, first. I'm going to take those. Fuck it. We have lives. It's gone now. Uh, Fuck. Lock in place. Lock in place. 714 lives. I'll take it. Marine? Fall mouse? Holy crap. Clutch as frick downdraft. We actually beat that, but we lost half our lives. Oh no. What do we do for this round? There's like so many BFPs. At least not fortified, but... 94? I am pretty sure that this is a record, guys. 94 might be death, though. Look. It's kind of funny. Fortified Cerams might be better than normal Cerams, for the sole reason that Downdraft cannot blow back. 
We're dead, we're dead, we're dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can't beat this round. Village with jungle drums. And a 402 alchemist to buff the marine. I wonder if you can beat the round with these buffs. We're also gonna buy a 052, because I believe this buffs the marine. And I believe that's all the buffs we are allowed to get, for the most part. And how much better are we doing this time? Well, shit. You can only see the difference. So it's not just Alchemist plus Comanche that's OP. Marine ain't a bad option either. Does the Marine have an infinite pierce? So well, with the Alchemist bot pretty much. As you can see over here. Alright, and down to Moabs for the last band here. And just one Marine should end it off. End it all. Okay, cool. Wow, we need it fast. These regrows are annoying. Marine? There we go. We got it just in time. Just in time, and I'm pretty sure we can't beat this round, can we? Holy crap, that's like fortified. Fortified Moabs, we got DTs, we got literally the kitchen sink at us. <laughs> no, we can't beat this. Even with Alchemist, can we? It's gonna go off cooldown before all the T's get popped. It's gonna wait, 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 Um, pause. It actually popped all the DTs, the Marine. But, as you see there, we can't deal with the ceramics, there's too many. <laughs> there's too many. So apparently if you drop another Jungle Drums Village, alongside this Marine, you get double attack speed. Like the double attack speed bonus. Kinda weird how that works, but I wonder if it makes a difference. Let's see. Collect the Life Crate, up to 905. 905 represents. And how we doing? Oh no, it's gone, it's gone. Is it? No, no, it's, it's still up. But there are two fortified DTs left, or one. That is so close. We have one DT left. Let me try that again. And how are we doing? There's a lot of SRAMs here that is not being blown back. Come on, downdraft. Gotta be a bit... No. This is not gonna work, is it? No. Strong seems worse? Yeah, it's worse. Pretty sure 95 is the limit, although I guess there's a 1% chance if you play perfectly you could beat this round, but it's a tough one with the cooldown for the ceramics for the Marine. Blowback? Yeah, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. GG. So that's it for our Marine. A lot better than I thought. 94 without Alchemist, but with Alchemist we can survive one extra round, just one. So it's gonna succumb to the same death as one Heli did.